Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Joy the Lion. How are you doing today? I hope you said great. We are gonna have a fascinating day today. My, uh, my friend Richard told me that he was helping to clear out an old record store that hasn't been opened since like the 90s. He said it's been all closed up and they're basically trying to go through, see if anything is worth selling or they're just dumping the stuff. And he said, hey, do you wanna come check it out? And I started thinking, hey, <laughs> A place that's been closed for 25, 30 years? I think this would be a fun video. So, days of Jordan the Lion, you all, and Marvin's, it begins right now. So they told me that the left side was a record store and that the right side was a thrift store. And they're basically just loaded full of stuff. This should be fun. I love things like this. I mean, when we're looking just in the window i mean look at all the an old camel ad <laughs> are you is that are those even legal anymore to have those so yeah we're gonna walk around and we're gonna explore the inside of this place what is that that's like an ad for hair there's no computer monitor that's uh to dry your hair now look in here First thing I noticed that caught there's my eye in there. was the Led Zeppelin um, signs here. Yeah, there's a couple things. Um, I think like some of the signs. Bob James? Are... They're advertising Bob James? <laughs> Look, there's an 8-track player. It's full of videos. But I thought it was kind of ironic because I walked in here with them when we opened up the doors. And I had been thinking about wanting to go visit the grave of wrestling champion legend Nelson Royal who also owned a country western store here in town they have his championship belt on display in the store that I visited before didn't film it or anything but they had a wrestling poster here look at who the star of the main event was Nelson Royal and Sam Houston with Don Kernodal the ring lords so this is, like I said, these are all still wrapped. You can get LaToya's CD still in the packaging. And look up here. This also caught my eye when we first walked in. That is a belt buckle display stand and it's still got a couple on there. And I actually would love to get that down because it has a Sergeant Pepper's belt buckle that I could give to my friend Scott. They've got a couple of patches up there. They've got a, looks like a Saturday Night Fever belt buckle up there too. Look at this, it's like a painting of Madonna. Holy cow, let's wander around here. Hey guys, we're gonna open look this at all this stuff. In the, in the springtime to the public. So we're looking oh, at the okay, April. okay. April, so April, we're gonna have a, a, an estate sale. Um, oh, cassettes, they're back in <laughs> Martha Walsh. You were looking for that Martha Walsh single. Hey, look what I found back here. I think William's 8-track. I don't know. I really don't. What did you find? So, this box cover is notorious in the world of Disney because it was the first release of the VHS of Little Mermaid and the artist was mad at Disney because he found out he was getting fired after drawing um, the cartoon. And he made a male palace. member <laughs> as the uh, palace there in the center, complete with veins and everything. When Disney caught wind of that, they quickly took it off the shelf, changed the box cover, and never to be seen again. So these collectible. Are, these are collectible and pretty valuable. Anybody was looking for a fresh copy of Cool Runnings, we found them. <laughs> oh, there's some moonlighting. Up until recently, that wasn't even available anywhere. So that, that would have been collectible about six months ago. VHSs are being graded now. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you were just telling me that Sybil Shepherd's doing a signing, so you can she take is, that and yeah, get a she's sign. she's doing her first signing at uh, Chiller Theater in Jersey. See, I personally think the real gold is going to be in these cases, because I'm seeing canes. Those could have belonged to Colonel Sanders, for all we know. <laughs> Not much, man. Look, traveling little berries. That's a good one. Yeah, but it's crazy. I go through and I'll start finding stuff, and I'm like... 
Why did I not pull this the first time? Let's see what we can find here. Queen City Classic. This was all this at one point. I'll pass. <laughs> oh, look at these two. We got the Jacksons. No, no, I found that and I found another That ain't bad. Jackson's cassette. And then we also have Cameo. Word up. That was their big hit song. Back in here, there's some sort of bottles. Sangria bottles. A lot of dusty stuff back here. Okay, those are those are uh, 45 holders. Nothing in them. Look what that is. It's all still sealed too. Like I said, I really want to look through those glass cases, and then I want to make it over to the thrift site if I can. I saw some cool stuff over there. What is this thing? I gotta see what this is. Huh. Interesting. Look what else I found. Right there. The Jeff Healy band. Sealed. He said both of these are all Elvis stuff. Elvis interviews and memories, the sun years. These are eight tracks still sealed of Elvis. May have to grab some of those. When she was a kid, her uncle took her record player. Let's get that thing down. Oh, he sold it uh, two years ago. Oh, did he? And these are the patches. I was worse. Hey, hope we all get to hit you. Look, once upon a time. About two years ago. He made great money off the building. Yeah. yeah, he made that. That's what the that's what the daughter should have got is yeah. maybe you know what was left over that. Yeah. But I think Marvin had a girlfriend. Yeah. And I think she, uh, she Those are all eight tracks. Yeah, it's unfortunate. James Brown, all kinds. Hey, anybody need any hair? So this is the site I was kind of interested in. Oh, look. More interesting stuff in here. Point Break. Everybody needs a copy of Point Break. Is that a hockey mask? Canteen. Yeah, it's just jammed full of stuff. I am, What do you have here? Looks like a flute box. Nothing in it. The old register. Wow. I don't know what that light is, but I'm kind of curious as to if that trombone or whatever's in there. Oh, some more 
boots, some canes. Look at these crazy shoes. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, they have all these are all like glass decanters. The M&M sponge. Here's wind and fire. Oh my god, the trombone is in there. There you go. Somebody come buy the trombone. Then that's the oh, that's the hair stuff I was looking at through the window. And an Xbox. PlayStation. <laughs> like some old camera in there. An old handy dandy tool set. It's amazing what you could find in here, honestly. It's amazing. It's all <laughs> roller blades. Lamp. It's like a dog lit back massager. Probably another flute. Empty. An old boom box. No more Garcia Parr when he was on the Red Sox. So that's early 2000s. That's the record player she's coming back for? She's coming back for this. Her uncle stole it from her when she was a little girl. Please tell me we're going to give that to her free of charge. Give <laughs> to her free of charge. It's oh, what's the record going, in there? The record is Harry Taylor. I don't know if that was the record that um, she was listening to, the last record she was listening to. but You'll have to ask her. Yeah, but it's kind of cool that it's getting to go back to its former owner. Just, it's, it's crazy, so, it's the stuff that I'm playing pop-up set that you sent off for you sent 25 cents and some box where's tops. that at i was looking at that yes. it's like an old it dirt is. bike on springs uh -huh. and um there's one listed on ebay which is broken it's just this the bouncing part and it's 500 dollars. oh nice so this is all complete so yeah and it's finds like that that i'm just coming across it's crazy an old david robinson Hi. fair prize <laughs> I won one of those at King Griffey Jr. when I was a kid, so I recognized those. Wow, I looked at that. It's like a reel-to-reel -reel machine. All right, let's continue back. He said there's a basement also. Oh, 8-track player. More roller blades. The mighty gospel enforcers. Some old McDonald's Olympic Dream Team cups, it looks like, over there. I used to collect those when I was a kid. Members only. Oh, look at that. Old Coke machine. Some more eight tracks back here. All kinds of old clothes. Can't really work my way down that way too much. Pretty well. Pretty well covered. These are 78s. Dual tape deck. There you go. Double cassette. If you can find a blank cassette anywhere. 
just found this. Some youth baseball pants. <laughs> That's crazy. I wouldn't have expected to find that in the box. That's interesting. Somebody cleared out all the money. Um, Air Force One is actually the best representation of what the airplane actually looks like inside. Number one question that um, all the crew members get is, is there an escape pod? No, there is not an escape pod for <laughs> the airplane. And the second number one question, the second question is, can the airplane refuel in the air? Yes, it can, but no, it would never do that because air refueling is the most dangerous aspect of flight. Oh, that's interesting. I just looked up and there's a little post over here and it looks like he was selling... Um, bracelets leather made bracelets with people's names on them there's about four or five different ones stacked up over there well that is it we could probably be in there forever but uh there's a couple of people a couple of pickers he's letting look through it and i was just curious and i think i got to fulfill my curiosities i hope you guys did too thank you for watching we'll see you next time have a great night and goodbye